You've been brainwashed since your first day of school into believing that the harder you work at your job and the more time you put in, the more money you'll make as a result. And that's a big fat lie. And that's probably what's keeping you poor and that's what's holding you back from your dream life. See, our society is designed in a way to keep you stuck on the hamster wheel for as long as possible. And the harder you run and the longer you stay on that hamster wheel, the more energy and motivation you lose to actually go after your dream life. And so most of you get stuck in this cycle of doing the same thing over and over and over again and doing the same thing day in, day out for a paycheck that you're never actually satisfied with. Yet you keep working anyway because truthfully, you don't know any better. And I was once there and I resonate. I remember being there stuck in my nine to five job, just not knowing what else to do. I thought this was the only path. I didn't know there was any option for me. I, ha I, didn't, I didn't feel like I had a choice because I had to help my mum pay the bills. And it was difficult and I, I can resonate. And so it's, it's a situation that can be avoided. And I wanna just explain how you can actually break this situation, right? Because most of you are stuck in that cycle of doing the same thing day out and you're never satisfied with your paycheck, right? And so what a lot of people do is they just decide to leave it up to fate and hope that one day that their circumstances will just get better by chance, right? But they fail to realize, maybe you fail to realize that your circumstances do not get better by chance. Your circumstances can only get better by change, right? And so something else that you may fail to realize is that life doesn't get better by chance, but by change. And all of a sudden, if you don't realize this concept, one day you're gonna look back and boom, 60 years of your life have slipped away and are now behind you, right? Retirement isn't what you thought it'd be. Your pension's probably worthless. You're sick and tired all the time because of all the ultra processed foods that you've been consuming without even knowing your entire life and they're making you sick, right? And your only memories are probably of you stuck in work or maybe that, that odd holiday that you took 20 years ago to Spain. And it's only at that moment in time when your best years are behind you do you realize that this whole system was, is a lie and it, you were set up to fail from day one, right? And you were brainwashed into believing that living paycheck to paycheck was your only option. You were brainwashed, completely brainwashed from your first day of school. But you get to the point where now you realize that, oh my God, my best years are behind me. Life is short. I can't believe how fast this has gone. And you also realize that no one's coming to save you. And you only wish that you'd taken more risk, right? You only wish that you played it less safe, right? You only wish that you had the courage to live true to yourself and not about others' opinions. You only wish that you'd asked your crush out on that date. You only wish that you'd started that business. You only wish that you took that opportunity. You only wish that you hadn't worked so hard, right? And this, this all could have been avoided if you, if you understood that concept. But the main concept that the majority of you fail to understand is that you don't get paid for your time, you, but you get paid for the value you create. And what that means is we've been programmed since our first day of school into believing that, oh, I can work at Tesco, I can work this corporate job, and if I work overtime on the weekend, I can make an extra 10 pound an hour, or they pay me double time on the weekend. And so you associate time with money. You associate the harder you work, the more time you put in, the more money you make. And while that is true, yeah, you know, if you work it, if you pick up an extra two hours on the weekend and you work overtime, you will get paid more money, but it's not scalable. There's only so much of your time you have. Even if you was to work 24 hours a day, you can't just go and randomly make a million dollars doing the same thing. So let's just say your value you create is you stack shelves in Tesco. That's very minimum value, and let's just say that value is priced at 10 pound an hour. The maximum you could make if you didn't sleep and work 24 seven would be 240 pound a day. Right, that's fucking crazy. And so it's not scalable, so you can't get more time. You've gotta figure out how can I create more value, right? And so like, 
that's something that so many people fail to realize. They just think that, yeah, this company is going to, I'm going to gradually make more as I grow in this company. And they fail to realize throughout their entire life that it, they was never getting paid for their time. They was getting paid for the value that they provide that company. And so you need to realize that right now and think, how can I create more value to society? The reason I get paid so much, the reason I make so much at such a young age is because I figured this out early on. I figured this out when I was 18 years old. And now six years have gone by where I've been seeking growth over an instant paycheck. I've been seeking opportunities. I've been reinvesting every penny I make back into myself, back into my business and focusing so much on the people that pay me and delivering them the most value that I ultimately get paid more, right? And so like what I deliver to, to society is way more valuable than any corporate job, which is why I get paid so much, right? Because I have the ability and the skills and the knowledge to be able to give people and transfer that knowledge onto people so they can make more money and change their life. Therefore, I get paid a lot of money for that, right? So that's something that you need to realize. And you need to realize that time is fleeting and money is abundant, right? There's fuck tons of this about. There's, it's abundant. And obviously, this is monopoly. This is fake, right? This is motion pictures money. It's prop money, right? <laughs> I'm in the UK. <laughs> but, right? Money is abundant, right? Money is as abundant as this prop money right here, right? Money is so abundant. And the sooner you realize that, and the sooner you realize that time is fleeting, you need, it'll change your perspective, right, on how you treat your time and how you treat um, your life, right? Um, and so what is the lesson here, right? The lesson is that value makes a difference in results. You can't get more time, but you can create more value. We primarily get paid for value. I'm going to keep saying this, right? You do not get paid for time. And I know it takes time to deliver value and results, but ultimately you get paid for the value that you create and not the time that you put in. And so you can't get more time, but ask yourself this question. Can you get more valuable? Can you get 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, or 10x more valuable? And the answer is yes, right? Of course you can. And so the only way to develop an above average income is to become an above average person. So you need to go out there and instead of looking for an instant paycheck and instead of seeking comfort, you wanna actually seek discomfort. You act because that's ultimately how you're going to grow, right? You want to go and acquire knowledge. You want to go and acquire information. You want to go and acquire more skills. You want to work on personal development. You want to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. And while I'm not saying you shouldn't have a job, a job can be great as a starting point to get some initial money in when you don't have no skills, you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the information. You want to be putting all that money though, learn to go out in the, on the weekends and fucking around. You want to be putting that money from that job that you that you're literally giving your time to, like imagine giving your time, which is the most valuable asset we have that's fleeting, to a job to make money, which yeah, we all have to do at some point because that's how the system is designed, right? The majority of us have to do that at some point. But imagine doing that and then going and spending that money on fucking around in the weekend and drinking and dumb shit that's not actually getting you anyway. How can you devalue your time that much? The odds of you even being born and put on this planet is fucking ridiculous. The fact you have this chance, this one shot at life, and you choose to work all week, slave away, give your time up, and then you give your time up in return from a paycheck, and you spend that paycheck and go and blow it on dumb shit like materialistic bullshit. What the fuck's wrong with you? Spend it on yourself. Put it into personal development, into growth. Go and acquire information. The only difference between the guy in the penthouse, the only difference between me and this six-bedroom fucking mansion in the middle of nowhere, the only difference between me and you is that I have different access to information than you. I'm operating on a different frequency. I'm operating on different information. I know more than you. I have more knowledge. I've acquired more skills because that's all I've done and that's all I've consumed and that's all I've been obsessed with for the last six years. And because of that, the first four years, I made pretty much no money, maybe 12 grand in a year for the first four years. But I was acquiring skills. I was acquiring knowledge. I was getting better. And in that fifth year, boom, I started making a lot of money. Six year, boom, started making tons of money. Might have the time scale wrong. Four and th three years I didn't make any money. The fourth year I made money. The fifth year I made tons of money. And the sixth year I'm in now. Um, and now we're fucking, we're printing money, right? And that's purely because I was willing to sacrifice those first three years to invest every bit of money I made from my job 
into education, information, knowledge, because I, I just surrounded myself with mentors. I got people. Because you're at a point in your, in your career when you're really on where you don't have the skills, knowledge, information, you're not personally developed. And so you, you, but you're a bit further ahead than your current friend groups. So you don't quite fit in with your current friends, but you're not far ahead enough to fit into a new group of friends. And so you, there's this middle ground where no one really fucks with you. No one really understands where you're going and you just seem like this crazy person. And so what you actually need to do is find mentors online. And realistically, the only way you can do that is by spending money. So that money is saving up. That's all I did was invest in mentors and programs and courses and information. Some of them are good. Some of them are shit. Some of them are great. That's just, that's just what's going to happen. There's, you're going to buy some shit programs. You're going to buy some good ones. But the good ones are going to make up for the shit ones. And you need to just be obsessed with acquiring information. You need to, if you're not learning something every single day, and you and you, and what I mean by learning is not just taking in information, but the information you take in, you actually have some type of behavioral change towards that information you just learned. That's that's what learning is, right? Learning is not just taking in a bunch of information and doing nothing with it, right? There's no point in being a fucking encyclopedia. One of my lights is broke, I think. What the fuck was that? Um, there's no point in being a living encyclopedia. You've got the stuff you learn, you've got to go and implement in the real world. You've got to have a change in behavior, right? And so if you learn about crafting new habits and you never go and form those new habits, you've not actually learned because you, know, you haven't done the thing, right? And so you need to figure out a way to create more value and you need to be willing to go on the journey, not to make money, but you need to be willing to go on the journey to become the best version of you. And you just got to be obsessed with acquiring information. Like I said, the only difference between you and the guy in the penthouse is he has access to more information than you and he's operating on a different level of information than you. And millionaires, they don't start off with daddy's money or they don't inherit it. The majority of millionaires are just more resourceful, right? They don't rely on resources instead of relying on resources, which is why everyone does. Oh, I haven't got enough money to do this or invest in myself. It's too risky, blah, 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 blah. The biggest risk of them all is when you get to your end of your life and you have those regrets I talked about, right? There's no bigger risk than that. Like, you'd be disgusted if you realize how easy it actually is to make money. And if you could, if I could put you into my mindset now, you would rethink and reconsider your entire life. If you got $200 in the bank right now, you'd go fucking spend there on information. You, you know that's going to come back to you. If, if you were operating on my frequency, if I had $1,000 in my bank, I'm thinking, how the fuck do I get rid of this $1,000 to acquire valuable information? That's all I'm doing. I couldn't sleep at night if that was me, right? I'd be wanting to go and acquire information and that money might not come back to me instantly, but it's going to come back to me if I continue to become the best version of me and work harder on myself than I do on my job, right? Um, and so you have to go out there and acquire more skills and more knowledge, and you've got to go and get as much information as possible. And most importantly, don't ask for security, ask for adventure, right? Ask for adventure. And so just to give you some perspective, right? There's 1,700 millionaires created every single day. Any one of us can be one. On a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Fun fact, I became one of those millionaires on a random Friday. Just a random fucking Friday. Wasn't special, wasn't a holiday. It was literally just a random Friday. So I know if I can do it, then you can do it as well, right? Because nothing about me fit the millionaire description, right? I was just a lazy guy that was working a maintenance job that was only paying me £10 an hour until I said, I have to do something. I have to change my life. So I don't want nobody to think that this is just something that's made for a few select people in the world because it's not. Yeah, it's the top 1%, but remember 99% of people either don't know or are not actually trying to become an active millionaire. They don't understand the value. They think all these course people that sell courses and programs are out to scam them and are fake gurus, and they have all these beliefs that don't serve them. The sooner you get rid of those beliefs, the better. Everyone thinks, oh, Ty Lopez is a scam, or Ty Lopez sells courses and programs. Ty Lopez changed my fucking life. Literally, I would not be here right now if it wasn't for me. The first course I ever bought was $500 on Black Friday. I waited until Black Friday to purchase Ty Lopez's course. And I learned information in that course that changed my life for 500 fucking dollars. And I only had $500 in my bank and I spent it all on that course. Then I went back to work the next week and made another $500 from work. And then I looked to place in more. You've got to look at your money like that. It's energy. You've got to put it into places that are going to return. Maybe not instantly, but you'll be glad you did. You have to be obsessed with acquiring new information that the majority of people don't have. And the best information is not free. The best information is paid because 
that's what cuts most people out because they don't want to part with their money. But the reality is the, if you part with your money and if you decide to spend this energy on information that most people are willing that are not willing to do that's how you get ahead people are always like how do you get ahead because i buy people's knowledge i buy people's time i buy people's mistakes so i don't have to go and make the same mistakes they did that way i speed up time my time travel that's why in the last six years i've been able to go from paycheck to paycheck from broke as fuck having a terrible life being depressed to literally being a multi-millionaire at 23 like purely because I was just willing to spend every fucking bit of money I, that lands in my bank. How can I get rid of it? How can I get rid of it? Abundance mindset. How can I get rid of it? How can I go and acquire more information? I'm not worried about the money now. I know the money will come in the long term. I need to get rid of the shit right now. I'm not trying to look good. I'm not trying to feel comfortable or secure. Or, or I'm not trying any of that. I'm looking for adventure. And therefore, I'm just fucking acquiring. I'm on this stage. And I did that for three, four years. I still do it to this day. I try and spend at least 20 grand a month on information every month without fail, without fail. There's been some months like back in November where I spent 50,000 on a program. Back in April, I spent another 50,000 on a program because I understand the value. The, the, the higher echelons, the more you tend to spend, the better access to information you get because it's behind a paywall that people are not willing to pay. And the people that are willing to pay, that's how they get further ahead, right? The best information is paid. That's the harsh reality. So you need to go and find a way and start small like me, right? You don't have to go and buy $50,000 mentorships. I didn't start doing that. I've done that now. I've got to that stage and the information you get at $50,000 and the delivery you get at $50,000 is completely different to what you get at $500. But that $500 Ty Lopez course I bought, it started giving me new beliefs. It started giving me a new blueprint, some new information that I needed to get to the next level. And then maybe I bought a thousand dollar course. Maybe I bought a couple more five hundred dollar courses. Then I eventually bought my first five k program, ten k. Then, like I said, I've also spent fifty thousand dollars on programs now. And so that's that's the ladder. You need to be constantly learning. Even my mentor that I spent fifty thousand dollars on, who's a multi eight figure entrepreneur, still spends money on education. He bought Russell Brunson's inner circle for one hundred fifty thousand dollars. He bought Grant Cardone's inner circle for three hundred thousand dollars. And he makes eight figures. And so he understands that he's still acquiring information. And the people that always acquire information, and the people that work on that, will, are the ones. The people that get one percent better every day, or ten percent better every day. The people that are constantly acquiring more knowledge and skills are the ones that will progress faster than anyone else if you're scared to part with your money if it's like the people like this it's crazy right because i have a 97 dollars program right which i'll link below that you can join um and i have a 97 dollars a month program that doesn't change my life either way but it could change yours but people still question like oh is it what's in it for 97 dollars like it's easier for me to sell something for ten thousand dollars than 97 dollars because the people you deal with at that ten thousand dollar price point it's just a different different caliber of people. Like they already understand, you don't have to change their beliefs. But then people that are at the $97 where, oh my God, I don't know whether I should spend 97. Like bro, if you learn one insight, this could be worth more than $97. It's fucking crazy. And when I say like, oh yeah, for the month of February, I'm doing weekly calls in this community, right? Because we're trying to win the school games. They're still hesitant about spending $97. And I'm like, Bro, it's 90, but that's not the point. I didn't even want to get in. I mean, this is not a pitch to sell my community, right? So remember, there's 1,700 millionaires created every single day and you could be one any day of the week, right? Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody came to save me. When my single mother got diagnosed with cancer and couldn't afford the proper treatment, I remember literally being sat in my bed, like I was watching Netflix and I, and I got a phone call um, and I just remember feeling helpless thinking, if only I had the money, I could help her go private and help her get the treatment that she needed faster, but I didn't have the money, I was broke. And so I never wanted to be put in that situation again because I felt helpless, I felt vulnerable. And I knew I couldn't afford it, she couldn't afford private health care. And it was literally on that day that I realized it's all on me. Every decision is all on you, right? I could have given up, I could have become a victim. I could have just said, oh, it's fate. You know, this is how my life's meant to play out, right? But I decided to take it upon myself to create my own reality. And that's what you need to do. And a really good book I recommend reading is called Reality Transurving. And so since then, I decided on that day to, to, to create my own reality. My mother's beaten cancer since I made that decision. And so we have the resources, right? But you just lack resourcefulness. So get another job in the meantime. 
use that money to actually put back into the business and also invest back into yourself, more importantly, right? And one of those 1,700 millionaires one day is going to be your day. Could be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, hopefully a Saturday, right? But that's all I want to say. That is, I just talked, turned on the camera and I had a couple of points I wanted to go over. But please fucking ingrain this into your brain. Like, please stop trading your time for money, please. And you have to to start, I understand. But stop being so scared. Stop, like, you're, it's probably your parents' beliefs that are ingrained in you that are believing that you should be frugal and scarce with money. Just don't. It's not going to, those beliefs do not serve you. I, and I, trust me, I've been there. Please listen to me. Like, please, please, please. I really want to fucking help you that's watching this video. So please, like, do, do not just take everything I've said with a grain of salt. Take it as your Bible. Like, literally. Uh, like, you, you've really got to start, like, treating money differently. You've got to stop putting money on a pedestal. You've got to stop having this scarcity mindset because it's holding you back. Um, and that's what I want to cover in today's video. So go out there, become the next millionaire, and drop me a message when you do. Um, and I'll see you at the top.